Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? It reminds me of this like Atari game from like back in the day. Yeah. I like clothes that like remind me of something. You know? Like, oh yeah, I feel like a cartoon right now. You know, like, I mean, I always feel like a cartoon no matter what, but. You know, like, just like wearing this makes me think that I'm like still in the 80s. You know, like, I can lie to myself. You're like, no, it's not 2017, Amy. Look at your sweater, you know? <laughs> so, um, anyway, what are we talking about? I don't fucking know. Never fucking know what we're talking about. You cuss too much. I do. It's because I work at a goddamn restaurant. And that's how people talk. <laughs> I work with these older ladies. And they get, like, offended when I curse too much. Um, like, I'm pretty sure that, like, a customer overheard me say the words, I'm just trying to turn you on by jerking off my invisible dick. <laughs> I even did the hand motion and everything. <laughs> With my invisible dick, mind you. But let's do that. Let's do that. Just trying to, just trying to turn you on. <laughs> by jerking off my invisible dick. Cause like I was in the back window taking money and like I turned around and I was really hoping the window was closed but it was open and like there were these people just like staring at me and this one bitch who already looked like a fucking bitch. You know what I'm talking about? Like fucking bitches that are like, you know, they just like give you that fucking like dirty look like fucking gawk at you. Like, she's totally giving me that look, but I, I have a feeling she would have given me that look no matter what. So I'm like, maybe she didn't hear it after all. But they did. I know they did. I'm surprised they didn't complain about it. Maybe like, that's just the nature of fast food, honey. That's just the nature. Because, uh, <laughs> like, the guy that was driving, like, thought, I could tell like, he, he was amused. But, like, his wife was, like, pissed off, you know? Because they had, like, kids in the car. Not that they would even like know what a dick was or like what it means to jerk it off <laughs> let alone an invisible dick <laughs> I don't see why like it's bad to like cuss around children I mean I, I get it like oh no they'll pick up on it and they'll probably get their ass whooped later tonight but it's like ass whoopings teach people a lot <laughs> I'm just kidding I didn't learn shit from mine I just, I just wanted it more. Like, oh, I think I'm gonna baby powder the basement one more time. Oh, that felt so good. I like pain, but like not that much pain. Like, I grew up with a lot of people, especially in the South, you know, cause like corporal punishment's like Southern way. Um, you know, it's like, I knew kids that were getting their ass whooped like way into high school. I'm like, are you serious? Like, I could never believe that. I was like, that really happens to you? Like, if you get bad grades or like, you come home five minutes late, like, well, go get that switch, honey. Go get that switch. <laughs> you know, you know what you've done. <laughs> like, that's just the most, like, immature thing. I'm like, I know, I don't have kids. And so it makes me a hypocrite. It'd be like, oh yeah, this is wrong. You know, I don't even have children. And you know, if I did, well, I'll just say this. I think that, like, whooping your kid's ass, that should be, like, the last resort. That shouldn't be, like, the first thing that you think of. Like, I can understand why people think that that could work as a form of punishment. And, you know, most people do respond to pain, like, more than they'll respond to, like, anything else, which is sad. Um, but, yeah, if you consistently have to whoop your kid, it's obviously not working, you know? And it's obvious that, like, maybe they're, like, somewhat masochistic and, you know, you're not really punishing them. You know, or maybe it's, like, they want to be punished or, like, they're cool with that. <laughs> 
Oh shit, my mother just tried to call me. <laughs> There's no sh oh shit about that. Like, you saw that. You said, I'm not gonna pick that up. <laughs> like, I love my mom to death, but like, Jesus Christ, she's so frustrating to talk to because she'll just ask me, like, the stupidest questions. Like, it's so weird. Like, I can call my mother when I'm having a panic attack and I feel like the world's about to just topple over, right? My own personal world, that is. Like, I can call her and she can calm me down. She can get my breathing back to normal. She can, like, center me. And she'll be like, okay, by the way, Amy, I know you're freaking out about, like, all the ways that you think you're dying. Here are 15 things that you, you really do need to freak out about, you know? It's like, she'll just... She'll just give me a list of my actual concerns, you know, <laughs> that I, I just try to disregard. <laughs> but, uh, she loves leaving me voicemails, though. She hates texting, and she loves leaving voicemails. like her favorite thing to do. Hmm. You should take the battery out to make sure there's no water damage. Then she wish she'd done that last time. Then you wouldn't have had to go through all this fucking trouble getting this piece of shit phone. Huh. It's totally worth it though. You know, every once in a while I'll talk to somebody at Verizon that like totally gets where I'm coming from. You know, because most of them are like, wouldn't you want to upgrade? Like they, they just look at me like I'm just a total Looney Tune. And, like, I mean, I am, but I'm not a Looney Tune for the reason that y'all think I'm a Looney Tune. Like, oh, I don't have a smartphone, so that means I'm crazy. Like, I'm so grateful to be crazy that, like, I can see the fucking truth. Anyway. Oh, more pills. Oh, shit, this, this was the stuff that was prescribed to us at the psych ward. And this is the stuff that was prescribed to us at a doctor, doctor's office. This, this doctor was like so nervous. You probably should throw that away. That smells bad now. It says discard by September 6th this year. I think I need to take another shit. Anyway. Let's move on. Let's move on. 